Alright, so, new Demon King Meliodas. The first base UR character in the game. Yeah, he's not an SSR. What does that mean? Not much. Only thing is, he is not in the guaranteed SSR pool. Right here, 300, 600, you cannot pull him. And, apparently, I'm gonna have to take this uh, to an experiment later. But apparently, according to the patch notes, he does cost more materials to evolve. So, how many materials, we'll find out together. But, let's summon. We're gonna be summoning, we're gonna roll one rotation. Getting to use him. And, uh, yeah. New Year, New Year Milios. A lot of people were saying that they don't think he's very good from uh, what we've seen so far. But, you know, that happens a lot. When we just read what a character does, it doesn't really convey exactly what a character does. But we'll, we'll, we'll see. One thing, there's a new animation. New summoning animation. They have in the patch notes, I have not seen it. Mainly because it just dropped. But... <laughs> I have no idea what it is. I kind of, I kind of scared to skip around because of the new animation. But I don't know. Oh wait, wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. So Mel is a UR, and they said there's a new UR coin section in the coin shop, or maybe they, they said there's new. There's gonna be. I think it's not out yet. Yeah, right there. Look, look. Whoa, the UR coin right there. I don't think there's anything you can buy yet. With UR coins, but there will be. Interesting. All right. Weird update. Weird update. Again, this there's no difference between Melly being in SSR or UR. Like the, seemingly, at the very least, there is no tangible difference between before when characters couldn't be UR base and now if he could awaken into an LR then I would see okay makes sense I guess but there there is no difference it's just a weird imposed new way I'm not skipping this because I was like maybe this is a new animation but it's not okay I don't I don't know what triggers it I'm gonna assume that it's a Meliodas animation, so I'm not gonna accept, expect any suns or anything. I'm just kinda scared of triggering the, uh, or pulling Meli and not, you know, seeing the animation. The new animation. Alright, 300 is coming, but you can't pull him, so. <laughs> People are not happy about that. And, uh, oh, we got a sun, we got a, uh, Bright Sky Sun, so it's a regular Ascanor animation. Can that also mean the new one? I'm gonna assume not. I'm gonna assume not. I was probably not gonna pull Melly from the 3 and 600 anyways. So, but yeah, it's cringe. And it's mainly cringe because there doesn't seem to be any reason for him to be a base you are uh, uh, except for hey <laughs> that's new and weird this animation bugs out when uh, you pull a you are character but that doesn't mean that we got Meliodas in this multi because uh, all the non festivals like Tarmi right here they're all uh, level 100 you are. So if you don't have a lot of these characters level 100 there, they're gonna get instant leveled up. Another light Liz, huh? If only light and dark coins did something. But unfortunately they don't. If only they did something. Maybe in the future. Because at the moment, right, you, you can't even buy light or dark units. So this melee is not light or dark. He's blue, as you can see. Meaning that eventually... Oh, maybe not. You know, I was gonna say, maybe... You know, meaning that eventually he's gonna be in the coin shop for you to buy, but I don't know. 
He's a you are. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe not, actually. <laughs> Maybe they're gonna use that as an excuse. You can never put this guy in the coin shop because he's not a regular festival. You know, he's a, he's a UR with a different coin. Again, not much rhyme or reason. He just simply is. I'm a little concerned about the uh, in the increased mats necessary because if it's more demon mats, I might not have enough. <laughs> It's gonna be more materials. They said it's gonna be more materials. I just don't know which. And I'm also very confused on what triggers the animation. Maybe it's gonna be obvious. Maybe it's gonna be obvious once we, uh, we actually get it, that it's what it is. But I won't know, because it's looking like I'm not even pulling him. If I have to showcase him 1-6, I'm gonna show showcase him 1-6. And the unfortunate thing is that his dupes actually give him damage reduction. Yeah. He's, uh, he's a, he's a pay-to-win passive ult type character. His dupes give him damage reduction. And crit defense. As well. So, that, that's... Uh, <laughs> is it crit defense? I think it's crit defense. Let me go back and check. So, it's, uh, that, that is two things that will lower the damage you take. Now let's see this. Because he's by himself. Would he just show up? I'm gonna skip. Would he just show up as Demon King Melee? If, uh, is that was again? If I pull him, like, would that be the animation? Ah, uh, is this SSR? DK, look at that. DK, man. He might actually be the last. The last festival character with no pay to win pa uh, pay to win ult. Like his his ult for one sucks. <laughs> like his actual ultimate sucks. But he doesn't have any like bonus passives for uh, having extra dupes or anything. Purgatory melee. Purgatory melee might actually just be useless now, since uh, the new melee is so similar to him. So similar. New Melee is like Purgatory Melee, but enhanced, pretty much. That, that, that's pretty much what he is. Just fine. It seems like they got pretty lazy with the new Liz, and pretty much just blended together Light Liz and Goddess Liz, and made the new character. And it seems that way for the new Melee too, like... He's just kind of an enhanced version of uh, Purgatory Melee. Uh, if we don't see the uh, some animation, I'll look it up and put it on screen. After we're done. Seems like we're not pulling him. Oh well. I will be 6 6 him. But... <laughs> not, not straight away, not in this video. Because we gotta get the showcase going. Many Liz- I put three Liz's. Which is lower chance than the new Mally. So, uh, math believers out there, tell me how that works, huh? Tell me how that works. I put zero melees, but three lizzes. Which has a higher chance than, which has a lower chance than melee, sorry. Alright. Pity. Got pity. Alright, so this is the animation. Got someone's Korean... Gameplay. If I had gotten this, I would not have known. <laughs> like, it, it's just a, a regular. Like, he's Dark Sky. He has a regular sword. He loses. I would not have known. I would have skipped it. I actually would have skipped it. Let's get him up, though. So. Does he need more demon mats or what? He needs a UR pendant every five levels. Wow. A UR pendant every five levels? That's so cringe. 
There's gonna uh, there is a coupon actually right now in the game to get 50 SSR pendants, which is not enough for a full awakening, but it will get you there. This is 60 SSR pendants. 10 UR pendants is 60 SSR pendants. Right? Yeah. Weird. Weird. Oh, he also needs more SA coins. 300 for the first level, but then... Jesus. We need to take off the collab coins because I like to keep them. That is a lot of coins. Actually, let me use a, uh, let me use gold coins. That is a lot of coins. Definitely exacerbated by the fact that uh, I don't have his dupes, but it's not a problem for me specifically. It might be why they're giving 300 SA coins, and now this. I can't do this yet, because you need to play the new game mode. Oh, now they extended the uh, thing for 200. You need to play the new game mode to get these materials. This I can already get, but this one I need to play the new game mode, so... I'll do that later today, for sure. Let's take a look at his animations. I know we've already seen them in the gameplay preview the live stream yesterday. Okay, it's not gonna be easy to see him when he's so tiny, maybe, but... Can I inspect him? He looks really good, though. I like that they actually gave him Lost Vein. Because I feel like, because of Lost Vein and Meliodas, they just don't give Melis Lost Veins. Because, like, it's it's his weapon! It's the Lost Vein Meli weapon! It's Melis' weapon! Every Meli should have Lost Vein! <laughs> Alright, he's all done, except, like I said, I can't, can't do this, but all it would do is give him 1000 CC and 10%, I believe, damage reduction. So, this can be done to any unit in the game, by the way. Right there, all the characters in the game are gonna have this, so... You're gonna have to do this to all your units in, in the, your box for your box CC. It's gonna be phenomenal. Alright, to explain what he does, we're gonna be doing that mid-match, because... I'll be here for like 10 minutes, so <laughs> let's go in and uh, we're gonna go with a simple demon team to start it off. He can be run on either demons or sins, it's part of his passive somewhere here, but we're just gonna stick with demons for the beginning and I'm gonna need a, a sip of uh, gamer subs, which I use cold nag for temper- that's a lie, I don't use it because they send me for free, but I <laughs> you would use cold nag for 10% off on your purchase. But, oh, look at that, now they're a uh, melee. At the start of battle, applies Demon King's protection, which is this thing, to himself, and whenever a specific ally does damage to an enemy, I'm gonna assume he has dodge. You have target link on melee. You do not. Let's do this then. Then, it applies a debuff, which lowers their stats, or sorry, their defense-related stats by 10%. Whoa. Okay. As I was saying, applies a debuff that lowers their defense-related stats by 10%, up to three times. When you stack three times, and you attack an enemy that has those three stacks of the minus 10%, cancels enemy stance, and applies one stack of energy of darkness to himself, which is plus 10 defense-related stats. For every specific ally in the battlefield that demons or sins, he gains 7% base sta basic stats, and when he has four stacks of energy of darkness, he gives he removes all the stacks and gives himself a buff called the the heaven of, the, the beginning of heaven and earth which is 50% accurate stats okay i'm just going to i'm just going to the same turn <laughs> just going to do that same turn ooh 
Ooh. Nice kill on the DN. Now he cleansed the debuffs and he got that uh, beginning of having nerf. But honestly, I kind of wish he had like capped those uh, defense related stats. He had the energy of darkness stacks before. He got the 50% right there. But he didn't use it. I already got my rank up. So when he gets the beginning of Heaven Nerf, he gets 50% attack related stats. And he ranks up. And he removes all debuffs. So it's kind of like how Demon King... Demon King is the same thing, where he uh, removes all debuffs and then ranks up. Whoa. That was with the 50% attack related stats. Not his cards. <laughs> As you saw, the single target, right? The single target is double crit damage. And if he has the beginning of having an earth, he gets an extra two times crit damage. Now his AoE, and the reason why I've been popping the single target before the AoE, his AoE has a double crit chance. And for every Seed of Demise, which is the 10% defense related stat debuff, he does 20% more damage. So I'm trying to actually apply the debuff first as much as possible before popping the AoE. Like right there, I popped an extra debuff on the Ascanor. And the debuff goes before, as you can see, before. Oh, and he already got that, uh, that stack right there. The debuff goes in before the actual attack. So, getting the stacks doesn't seem to be too hard. So long as you attack an enemy that has the three stacks of uh, the defense really is stat lore, you are getting the stack of... Uh, what's the name of the thing? No, oh, it's so many names. It's uh, Energy of Darkness. It's the little black ball on the... <laughs> No, he already- he ranked up. Is there something I'm missing from his passive? Where did this rank up come from? Where did this rank up come from? Oh, yeah! The debuff removing part. Oh my god, there's so much There's so much stuff, I skipped over the debu debuff removing part of the passive. Dude, this passive is way too convoluted. So, yeah, this is why I got the thingy earlier. This is why I got it so early. Jesus Christ. His, his passive is way too- I'm sorry, but his passive is way too convoluted. I'm gonna chuck- I'm gonna blame it on how many parts the passive has. I accidentally skip, skipped reading one of the parts. At the start of turn, he removes one debuff from each ally. And for each debuff removed, he gets an energy of darkness. So if you have one energy of darkness... If you have one- <laughs> If you have one energy of darkness, it's literal math equations. And you have one debuff on each ally, then in the beginning of the turn, so that's what happened when I had one. In the beginning of the turn, he gets the beginning of having an earth. Dude, dude. This is what happens when you get four hours of sleep for the update. The update drops at 7 a.m. for me, so I have to wake up at 6. I don't have to wake up at 6, but I do, so I, I, I'm chill. I don't have to stress too much. Uh, I just popped the chili Louise. So, Melascula, you can have Melascula's commandment on him. Like, Melly, I didn't even talk about his ultimate. I didn't get a chance to. 
Melee's ultimate applies a buff that increases all stats by 30%. That's a 6-6. Six, six. I'm gonna be talking about 1-6 after I'm done with 6-6. Six, six. And applies 3 stacks of Seed of Demise to all enemies. Then inflicts Demise, which is double uh, crit chance. And for every Seed of Demise, applies does the uh, extra 20% damage. Oh, I didn't have uh, the 4 debuffs, or 3 debuffs. Because uh, Sarissa died. Ooh. Difference in damage is uh, pretty crazy. So, when the unit is present in the battlefield, the commandment of the unit linked to him, so you can link Melascula to Meliodas and use her commandment on him, right? So the commandment works. If it's linked to Meli, the commandment works. So you don't even have to use Melascula. If you just want, I mean, you could use Red Melascula, she's, she's, she's good, but I'm just saying for the purposes of the commitment, right? And then, uh, when Demon King's protection is applied to the unit, increases his crit defense by 20%, and decreased damage taken from single targets by 15%. The video is like almost 25 minutes long, and all I've done is explain what he does. That's... <laughs> okay, we also summoned, but... While summoning, we're talking about what he does and, and like his moving pieces, so I think it also counts. Uh, how about this? I also, want, I always want a single target first to apply the, uh, the demises. At one six, you have zero of that damage reduction I talked about. The fifteen percent damage reduction from single targets, you have zero at one six. So right now I have zero. The crit defense increase, I believe, is seven. And um, the ult, I mean, obviously the ult is going to do less damage. And it's uh, it's up 30% stats, I believe it's 3. So. That's not a debuff card, is it? You kind of rely on the enemy debuffing. Because getting 4 stacks of Seed of Demise is honestly a pretty tall feat. You really are dependent on those uh, debuffs from coming from the enemy. I feel like. Die? No. We do get to his ult though, which is one six, but not not for the damage, just for the spectacle. Let's take a look. Oh, you're gonna only apply one stack of the debuff on them instead of three at one six two so his ult is very pay to win like 15 percent damage reduction over zero is a pretty pretty drastic difference all right last match of demons we're gonna swap swap to sins and then there's more stuff i feel like i could use him on but not really oh so i can i can't attack her and you have tarmelink her nice if you're gonna use Albedo, don't, don't use her. This is what happens. It's just... <laughs> you actually are forced to attack the one that tar that's targeting, so... See, but against Unknown... You still are gonna get, you know, debuffed by the Corrosion. Like, there's not, there's not much you can do about that. You're gonna lose life because of the Corrosion. I'm thinking now, right? Like, is it best to run melee with CC food or dodge? Because I was thinking dodge. Nah, I didn't have enough debuffs. Esterosa was not debuffed. But, I don't know now. I don't know now. Level 1. I don't know now, because... Um, if you go first, you can give yourself a stack of uh, the defense will stat increase. And then if they debuff you at the beginning of your turn, then you're going to have the... The 50% buff. I'm not going to say the whole name. The <laughs> but if you go second... The most you can have at the beginning of the turn 
is gonna be the the three stacks of balls and then you're gonna have to hmm. there might be a way that going second is better actually let me think about it If you use dodge, can the enemy melee get a stack of ball in one turn on you? That's my question. Because if they can't, then going second with dodge is objectively better. But that's... Maybe even not, actually. I don't know. Okay, this might not end up very well, but I want to try this. I want to try king here. Because, well, I was hoping to face a uh, melee, actually. Melee's cards don't have a damage increase multiplier on them. So, what I mean by that is... Let me just pop three AoEs here. What I mean by that is, he does double crit damage, or double crit chance with a damage increase on the balls. So, unless you, you have balls... It's not balls, it's the, the circle thing. Don't have three balls in. Look at that. If you do a triple AoE, you can have three balls. But you... Unless you have this, the circle on you, there's no damage increase multiplier. Either double crit chance or double crit damage, right? So, if you can avoid that, the shield is pretty good. Now, right there, the shield is pretty useless because Liz is a damage increase on the AoE. Uh, with the Flood, right? Let's do this. Oh, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. And because King has a double AoE, we can force Melee to have three balls in the first turn. This is why I didn't bring Dien, by the way. Dien is an obvious choice. Because, you know, you got a taunt, you protect it, but Dien doesn't have a... If you do the, the, the taunt card, it's not gonna give... Uh, it's not gonna, sorry, apply any debuffs. It's not a debuff, but... <laughs> it's not gonna apply the, the circle debuff thingy, th this thing, to any enemy, right? So... It's not gonna speed up the process of getting melee to the 50% attack related stats. There's probably a better character than King for this. But I think bringing an AoE to apply that is best. Now, what I'm concerned here is, look. Is it really smart to use Bon thinking that you really don't want to debuff melee? Or, like, you, wanna, you don't want to debuff into a melee team at all, do you? Like, you don't want to give melee that 50%. So is it really smart to bring a debuff character at all? Like, I'm even concerned about using Demon King. Like, if you just bring no debuff character whatsoever, then melee is, like, <laughs> gonna really struggle to get to that, you know, increased damage state. I was gonna play actually a bit more, but I think with Sins, I'm maybe better off getting some more ideas from you guys. Because I, I don't know about Sins, man. I think you're giving too many debuffs to Melee. You're giving them for free. You're pretty much begging Melee to get the attack buff if you're using Sins. That, that's what I think. So I, I'm I'm not sure about it. I am not very sure. I like this. I like it's more for fun here, popping the the true king, and then Melee. Like you see, he has three balls. Meaning he has 30% extra defense related stats. And if I had dupes, <laughs> if I had him 6-6, six, six, I would also have 15% damage reduction from single targets as well. I don't, so... Oh, I just want to see this. Boom. On Bond, he has the revive, so he has no damage reduction. And then we're gonna end the video. Got to increase damage from King plus attack. 
pretty good. Nothing insane. Like, we've seen Purgatory Mally do, like, crazy numbers, so... Definitely a very convoluted character. Oh, I'm blurry. Definitely a very convoluted character. Um, but 81, that was like, ah, he looks mid. Man, I, <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, but yeah, that's about it.